We begin our tour at the Earth in an orbit some 18,000 kilometers above the surface. As we move away at only 15% light speed, the Earth's oceans turn green and the continents red. While we are moving at this velocity, the color of the background stars is also shifted towards the red end of the spectrum. This is relativistic Doppler shift at work. We now begin to accelerate on our way to explore other planets of the solar system. The background star field appears to collapse and we are quickly overcome by a blinding whitewash of light. We slow to half light speed in the vicinity of Mars. The planet here appears a bright blue and as we pass it by, its surface colour changes dramatically through green and orange to red and beyond. Looking back at the planet now, we see a very dark picture although the forward view is still unusually bright. Here, Jupiter is much smaller than it should be, since we're seeing the planet earlier when we were further from it. We see distortion as the area near the red spot bulges out towards us, as well as noting colour shifting. Leaving Jupiter behind, angular compression again collapses everything to a point. As we near Saturn, we slow to 99% light speed and fly over its ring system. Here we see the rings first bulge out beneath us and then curve unexpectedly as we pass over the outer edge. Looking back, the rings still appear distorted and the whole planet magnified as a result of our backwards motion, an effect which recedes as we decelerate. We now begin to execute a series of tilted orbits around Saturn, spiralling inwards towards it as we travel faster and faster. Despite this, angular contraction will prevent Saturn from appearing larger in the frame. Moving closer only makes the distortion effects on the rings more obvious. In our final rotations, we are orbiting directly above the outer edge of the rings. Parts of the ring system which would normally not be visible are brought into view by relativistic aberration, so they appear to swell out towards us. As we slow, the rings shrink back to their normal size. We will now fly between Saturn's rings and the planet itself at a relativistic speed. As we accelerate, we see Saturn appear to be getting further away, and stars that were behind us becoming visible as they contract into the frame. This is because of the effect of angular compression. Then, as we pass between the rings, they appear to flip inside out and bend over us as we pass underneath them. Accelerating further, our entire field of view again collapses to a point 